I can't see anything. I can't see her. Shit. I don't know what it looks like. I can't see anything. Picture it. Picture the water. Ink dark. Green. Bottle black. Something could happen to her. Nothing can happen to her. She'll get lost. Nothing can happen that you don't want to happen. I make the picture. Nothing can happen. I'm afraid. We'll bring him to you. Stay here. Don't go. Don't leave us. I want to see him first. Come closer. <coughs> we'll bring him to you. Underneath. Watch us. I'm still afraid. Come closer. You will never drown in water. I will never drown in water. Look for us. I want to see him first. Talk to us first. Put your face to the water. What do you see? Face to the water. What do you hear? He says, No, it is night. Now, now it is night. night. See, see the, the shadow at the end of the, of the pier. pier and, and watch the, the moonfish feed. <laughs> the way you never can in the daytime. You know, sometimes I'd stay up all night just to talk to a new person, just to meet a new stranger. I wish I lived in space. You know, you don't wait anything in space. You just float around, float all over the place. Do somersaults in the air even. It'd be cool, huh? I don't know. You used to see all this crap floating by here. What? Trash. Bloated dead things. What dead things? Fish. The moonfish were dying. All the living things were dying. But not anymore. The moonfish are making a comeback. That's nice. You like the fish, don't you? This place used to be fantastic. There was a marina. Men would come here and fish. They fish for the moonfish? Hunted them took their most through the channel, cast out their nets and hunted them. I will watch them haul off their catchers and their boats and dump them in docks. They held competition. I will watch them dump them in piles and leave them slaughtered, bellies up, hooks in their mouths, piled to the sun! Eyes glassy and empty, scales still shining in the sun. That's it? What else? Nothing. So they were killers. It was cruel. I'm sleepy. What? I said I'm sleepy. Sleep then. I don't care what you do. What do you think people do in prison? What? Do you think my mom's having an okay time? She's really in jail. I told you. She beat your dad to death. Almost. My grandma's the one that actually killed him and struck the final death blow. Your grandma killed him. Why? I guess she couldn't stand him anymore. That's it? No. He used to beat mom on a semi-regular basis. So this time, she was fighting for her life, right? He was choking her. It wasn't even like she had time to think or anything. She had no choice. She found her only opportunity, grabbed the frying pan with one hand, and beamed him with it. Then she called grandma to help her finish. I was in school talking to Tasha about these really cool earrings we ripped off, like really cool earrings. So I'm in the home room talking to Tasha about this ripoff, and suddenly the announcement comes from the PA. Eden, please report to the front office. Eden, please report to the front office. Like that. So right away, the whole home room starts gossiping, and I get to the office, and the ugly head who's looking at me funny, and they say, your dad's been bashed to death by a frying pan, Eden. Your mom's been hauled away to a mental prison, and your grandma's nearly croaked in the process of beating. Now she has the permission slip. Go home, honey! Go home. Just like that. Wouldn't it 
upset you? My friends think I'm a psycho. I'm out of school for three weeks, and in the long run, all I get is to live with my fat aunt and a Siamese cat and, and work as a sandwich maker. Wouldn't it upset you? Wouldn't it? You're not a psycho. I know that. I just need another drink. Where'd you get them from? From the restaurant. You shouldn't be stealing from the restaurant. Look, it's just a couple of damn drinks. That's not the point. And you shouldn't be swearing either. Alright, alright. I'm not gonna swear. I'm not gonna talk. I'm just gonna sit right here and not do a thing, okay? Calm down. You're all worked up. Of course I'm worked up! Why shouldn't I be? I bust my ass to make a single friend all night, and all I get is shutting doors. He doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to listen. All he wants to do is watch all these weird fish all night. I've been listening to you. I'm listening. No. No. Why should you listen? Why should you understand? There's no way to explain these disgusting things I've seen in my life. Oh, really? <coughs> Maybe you are just young. But even if you aren't lying, you are not the only person who has seen disgusting things go on in this world. And if you are lying, you could make up stories like yours that make your heart bleed into little pieces. So your mother's a bit high strung. I could tell I didn't have a mother. I could tell you my grandma was a schizophrenic and my father was an alcoholic. I could tell that the brick fell on my mother's head and split her skull wide open. I could tell that my father slit his throat. What do you want me to do? Why does it matter? Nothing! What? Nothing. I'm sorry. I haven't been sympathetic to you. I guess I'm just not a nice person. Bullshit. Come on, don't swear. You're sleepy, right? I could get the sleeping bag from my car and you can sleep here or something. I'm not gonna do anything to you. Besides, so what if I did? I've seen you. You're like those old guys at the restaurant. Pinch your butt and feed you cake. God, you're such a preacher. Look, I'm sorry. But you shouldn't be wearing those cut-off shorts either. They disappear underneath your apron. It's just a plain come on. What do you want me to wear? Overalls? Look, I'm not some sister of yours that can't get a date. And anyway, you shouldn't talk. I've heard about two, you too, you know. What about me? What you do to girls? What you do to that girl? Which girl? What is it you hear? Who tells you? You think you're so cool. You thought she was some city chick, so it didn't matter. You thought she had no brains. What are you even talking about? I hear. I hear. You come out at night, and some girl you think is scum gets drunk. So you let her wander around because she annoys you. You let her wander around, throwing up. Miserable and throwing up, and you don't care less if she got hurt out here on this rusty piece of dock. You don't care if she falls in and can't see and can't swim and screams and screams and panics, and you don't even reach out to help her. You don't care. You never even bother. You just let her drown. You could have saved her, but you let her drown. You watched her drown. Shut up! Shut up! I'm not afraid of you. Then why are you doing that? If this is what you hear? You come and shove these lies at me just to get pity. They're not lies. Not one thing I told you was a lie. I don't care. I don't think you're anything. That's okay too. That's what he told her. That's what he said about her, about my mom. But if she wasn't nice, she could take him. So what are you even talking about? <laughs>